Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn about the mocking concept in Playwright. It's going to be very simple, just one line of code. Uh, you can see here like, uh, so we have to use this page.route and then we have to give the uh, routing and then we have to uh, send our JSON file. That's it, the mocking is done. It's very simple, but let me explain you the mocking concept and why we need that so that you will get a uh, good idea before that uh, in our uh, net talk series already we have learned like how to wait for a response or how to get the response and also we have used the authentications like passing the http credential when we launch the website and also we have built something like ad blocker which is nothing but the net talk intercept and the uh, uh, like aborting a request okay so the title and thumbnail thumbnail might not be the best thing i can say at least in my channel but i have covered all the topics so if you have missed the missed those kindly watch it okay so coming back to the topic uh, let's go and see okay so here i have a angular application which is running in my local host for 200 slash book slash home okay and here uh, just ignore this picture uh, basically i have used the same picture um, just for the demo i have uh, created this site okay and here you can see like we have different types of book names with the book price okay so if i scroll down you can see like we have like a lot of books with uh, different prices i am getting this data from this swagger uh, this website basically they say uh, json like your online um, so here you can select we have this response body from here only I'm inserting all my data here Okay, how does it works in the sense like uh, in my angular code? I have a function like get all books which is basically going to uh, grab from this API and This is my base URL and this is my the particular endpoint. Okay now based on this i have also um, done the ui so here you can see like we have a uh, ss image basically i have used the same image that's why here we are seeing like the image is same and then here you can see like we have this uh, title and the price okay so i'm getting the data from this endpoint and i'm storing that uh, based on the number of data so i'm building the ui okay so that is how typical website works now the problem is consider that my UI is ready and my services are also ready and it is uh, going to be deployed in staging or develop and then you can start testing. But because of some reason, let's consider that my uh, endpoint is broken or my server is down and I'm not able to uh, build the UI or deploy it properly. Okay but we have time limited and we have to do the testing so if i go back to my uh, actual local host you can say like we do not have any data but we know that the services are ready the ui is ready uh, just we have to test it okay so in that scenario what we can do is just in case only if your backend or like your server is down but you have the ui then we can do the mock okay so we can mock the ui how does it works in the sense like let me explain based on the postman first okay so here in postman we have something like mock server we have to click on that then we have to create a server mock server okay and what is the request method it's going to be it's going to be get because if you go to your angular code here you can see like basically we are trying to get the endpoint right and then uh, here the response code is going to be 200 and here we have to give the response body so what is the response body in the sense like uh, here from the swagger we can see like we we are getting something like this right so this many data that i have already stored as a file here json file um, let me open that so here you can see like we have like books api dot json file i'm going to copy the entire data and i'm going to pass it to my response body and here the url it's going to be um uh, we can ignore this for now okay so let's click on this next and here mock server let's name it like books api and create a mock server so what it will do in the sense like it will uh, give us 
some endpoint like this if i click on that uh, you can probably do the send request and you can see like whatever the data we have passed we are receiving the same okay so i can just copy this url now and here this base url right this base url is not working so what what, what i'm going to do is instead of that i'm going to pass my uh, the temporary mocking endpoint okay now if i go to my home page you can see like we got the same data right so we got the book title the price and all the other information right so this is how mocking works now if i go to my net talk tab and let me refresh the page again so here you can see like uh, get category list this is getting 404 because here the get category side right? base url the base url is not down because our server is down so that's why we are getting that one but if i go and check this one this postman.io and if you go to the preview you can see like we are getting the data so whatever the data we are seeing here basically it's coming from our postman that we have mocked now we have to do the same thing but instead of using postman like uh, like instead of postman i can just do it from my playwright script itself okay so first of all i'm going to undo this change here okay let's let it be empty and if i go to my ui and here you can see like we have nothing so if i run my script without this phase dot route and if i try to execute this it should of course fail the test right let's see okay so here you can see like we got a failure and we are expecting like the count of the titles the book title should be greater than zero but in our case it's zero so we got a failure now i'm just going to mock the data okay so for that we have to use like page dot route and slash books i'm giving like slash book because that is the endpoint. for example if i go back to my uh this code the angular code initially it was like this dot base url plus books right so plus plus book in the sense like uh, like the endpoint. okay so like books dot uh, book slash get category similarly books okay so here i have given like book okay so this just the endpoint, and this star star means like anything so before the your domain or your base url okay and here we have to use like fulfill already we have talked about like about and continue about means like to stop a network request and continue means okay we can continue similarly to full fulfill in the sense like we have to give some data so here we are setting the status code as 200 the content type is going to be basically like my json and path is nothing but the uh, file path okay instead of file path you can also uh, give the body like here you can say like uh, say like body and then you can pass your data like whatever the data you're going to pass that should work fine okay and here the type is going to be like string or buffer so we have to give it like this okay but already we have the data in a json file so we'll just use the path and we'll give the path spe uh, specific path of the file so the file is basically in my root of the folder so i can just give the name that's it okay and then i'm navigating to the book slash home page that is the endpoint and I'm trying to grab all the titles of the page. So if I go and inspect, okay, we don't have anything, but still I can see that I believe. Okay, we have only the CSS, but yeah, I will show you. Okay, then what I'm trying to do is I'm taking all the count and just an assert, and then I'm trying to print all the uh, data. Okay, so let me go and run this now. So here you can see like we got the UI, we got the titles and everything. Um, and also if I try to bring the reporter. So here you can see like we uh, we have the count, it should be around like 44. <coughs> and we got the snapshot as well. And we got the video and if I go to the statement i mean standard output you can see like all the titles page okay so that is how the mocking work
so a few things we have to remember is basically like how we are passing the endpoint so if you pass this endpoint wrong then of course it will not work which endpoint basically this one okay so if you give something like that basically it's going to point to that and if your data set is not matching then of course like in your angular view or whatever the front end using front end code you are using it will get collapsed okay so make sure you are passing the correct endpoint okay so that's it for the mocking it's very simple concept if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon Tada, bye bye take care